Welcome to this very brief introduction to the REST API as used with Data Protection Advisor version 6. The RESTful interface allows the programmatic management of information contained within DPA, allowing users to read and modify information contained therein. It also allows application developers to create bespoke applications to access DPA data. There are a number of REST clients available and a few are listed here. And indeed REST clients are also available for iDevices and Android devices. The basic command construct or URI is shown here and indeed is very simple. Full documentation is available on the EMC support site at the link shown. So let's take a look at the REST API in practice. Googling REST client, let us select the Google client itself. Selecting the UI and downloading the jar file into an appropriate folder. We may run the jar file directly from this folder and this will present the UI. There are two main components to the UI, the request and the response. So in the URL, let's enter the required address of the DPA server and append to this the resource. We'll use the get method to acquire the result. In our first attempt shown, we have a connection failure due to an error in my entry of the server address. So we'll fix this and reissue the request. We now have a code 200 OK indicating a successful request. Opening the body tab, we are presented with the XML output showing the status of the server, the version information, operating system platform and other information. Let's now modify our resource and replace server status with times. Our request status shows 401 unauthorized, indicating some credentials are required to issue this request. In the Auth tab of the request, we'll enter the basic authentication for an administrative user on the DPA server and reissue the request. Again, we see our 200 OK status and opening the body tab, we are presented with the output showing the time periods used by DPA. So that's a very simple introduction to getting started with the REST API as presented by Data Protection Advisor. In an accompanying video, we'll look at how we can further process information presented within the body of the response panel. Thank you for watching.